What's up everybody? Today on TK Driven, we're going to go over this inexpensive 3 inch polishing kit for a cordless drill that I got off of Amazon. How's it going guys? So we've got a review here. This is a polishing kit that's really inexpensive and it's uh, made to adapt to your cordless drills. So I've been using Porter Cables and I've got that new Zoda that I reviewed recently. And um, they're absolutely awesome for covering a large area of a car and doing a lot of work. But you always run into places on cars that are small and you need better access to things. So I started looking into solutions for smaller polishing pads. Well, there are ways to attach three inch polishing pads to uh, an old school Porter Cable. Um, but you run into counterweight issues and all kinds of problems with that. So this popped up on Amazon as I was searching and it's really inexpensive and it comes with um, these things here that just allow you to run these pads on your drill which essentially becomes a rotary polisher. So let's unbox this here and see what we got. I had a camera malfunction so the first time I ripped the plastic I didn't get any video so we'll just uh, resume from where we got here. So all I did was rip the plastic open. So it comes with two full sets in separate plastic containers and you get white, yellow, orange, and black it looks like of uh, flat surface pads, the typical normal flat surface pads that we're all used to, foam pads, and there's a, uh, a, a picture with the, the cutting capabilities of these on their Amazon page. And then it comes with a full set of these pads which seem to be um, have long fingers like these nodules that stick out and uh, can probably hold a whole lot of product and stuff and they come with blue yellow orange and black of these guys and then importantly it comes with this drill adapter has the threaded end that threads onto their backing plate and then this end goes into your cordless drill so you take your adapter and your wool pad, the threaded end goes into your backing plate, and then this side goes into your drill, and then you essentially just have a rotary buffer with a cool three inch pad. Awesome. So I'll tell you what guys, let's put this together, and I've got some really awfully hazy headlights on my daily driver. I'm going to put a tape line on one of the headlights and use these new pads and this essentially rotary buffer that's now my DeWalt cordless drill and we'll polish out the haze on these headlights. I've got a tape line over these incredibly hazy headlights. We're going to hit it with a little bit of Meguiar's Plastex and we're going to use those awesome three inch pads that basically turn your drill into a rotary buffer. I've got the Plastex on there and we're going to go ahead and work it in one side and I'll show you before and after. Let's wipe off the excess product here. I wasn't worried about getting it on the paint as I'm getting ready to polish all this car anyway. And let's do a big reveal with this tape line. Check this out. New headlights. I could probably actually see at night now. Look at that guys. All from these awesome three inch pads and a cordless drill. Huge difference. We should be saying some pretty good things about Meguiar's Plastex too. I'm not endorsed by any of these places but uh, I've used this for many many years and I've done many many headlights and they generally turn out about like this. They look really cool. You can do this on tail lights or anywhere there's plastic surfaces like this. Really cleans things up. While I can't speak to the longevity of these pads, I can tell you right now that they're probably worth the money just on my headlight restore we just did. These things are incredible. And I'm excited to use them on A and B pillars and everything in between, any small spaces. That's it for today's video, guys. I appreciate you liking and subscribing. I'm going to go ahead and work on these pillars with my new tool here. <laughs> 